Today we're going to look at an R&T dumbbell row, so re reactive neuromuscular training. Basically it's a fancy way of creating a different directional stimulus on your lift to get muscles to fire better, right? So the thing is with any kind of back exercise is commonly I really see people unable to activate the actual lat muscle which is your big prime mover on the back and they end up doing more of an upper trap or a bicep work. So this particular movement using the band really helps to get that right. So without the band, what we're actually looking for is a nice natural arc in your dumbbell action, okay? We don't want to just pull the dumbbell straight from the ground straight up because that's when you end up using that upper trap and all the bicep in the world, but we never actually activate those lat and rhomboid muscles. So we want to start with the dumbbell on the ground, well, towards the ground, and pull that elbow up and back, and finish by pulling that shoulder blade back and pulling that shoulder blade down. So we feel a nice squeeze pinch in the lat. And the band creating tension in that direction is really going to force you to fight that band and pull it back. We tend to see those dumbbells staying upright and the elbow bending. Again, we're really focusing here on the bicep. We actually really just want to see that elbow drawing back, those shoulder blades staying pinned down and squeezing back. So to set it up, often it's easy to start with a nice light band, but as you develop, you actually get a lot stronger in this movement. So we have a nice straight back and from here, we are going to pull that band back, squeeze that lat, and bring that arm down. Damn, I chose a challenging band. Now obviously as you get stronger and better at this movement, whew, that's a good lat band, you're going to increase the load. I would probably even start with a slightly lighter band with that and then build up the weight a little bit more on the dumbbell and then over time increase both the band weight and the dumbbell weight, but only if you feel those lat muscles getting good engagement and a good burn. More often than not, less is more with back movements until you've spent a good amount of time developing those lats to fire. I would say it probably took me nearly a year of actually thinking and concentrating on developing my lats and making them fire and get more active before I could actually add a serious amount of load to get them pulling more weight than I could actually press. But that's a little bit of a work in progress and this is a good way to get it started. So try it out and see how you go.